Project Explorer is a modeless window which allows you to freely interact with your model in Civil 3D. It is designed to be kept open almost continuously whilst you work, providing a far more powerful alternative to the existing Civil 3D Prospector window. The product is designed to help you interrogate, modify and extract information from your Civil 3D model. It features design review and design validation tools, a template-driven report, spreadsheet and AutoCAD drawing generator, and it allows you to make edits to your Civil 3D model far more efficiently than ever before. The Project Explorer window itself features a tabbed user interface, with each tab representing a different category of objects from your design. Within each tab you'll find full geometric details of every object in your model, alongside a wide range of valuable design review tools such as dynamic reporting, comparison filtering tools and dynamic profile and section views. So to be clear, what you're seeing in the Project Explorer window is a live snapshot of your design which reacts to every design change you make in Civil 3D, whether it's creating a new alignment, or whether it's editing a corridor assembly. The layout of data displayed in the Project Explorer window is entirely customizable, and it's common to use different Project Explorer layouts for different tasks. The layout process is managed with a template-based approach, and this is an important concept in the product, which we call layout styles. Layout styles are important because as well as controlling the layout of the main Project Explorer window, they also control the layout of any generated report, spreadsheet or AutoCAD table. But more about that later. So controlling the layout style of the Project Explorer window can be achieved by pressing the Layout button in the lower left corner of the window. Just select the tab and the sub-object level of the layout you wish to change and then hide, rename or reorder the columns as necessary. Number formatting can also be controlled from a layout style entirely independently of any settings currently applied in Civil 3D. These changes can optionally be saved to a layout style for easy recall later. In the right-click menu for every listed object in Project Explorer, you'll find a range of editing, reporting and output functions. We're going to start looking at the report generation process with the simplest way to generate a report or spreadsheet in Project Explorer, and that's the quick report function. There are four key elements to the process of generating a report in Project Explorer. That's the file name, the file type, the layout style, and the report style. To determine the layout of the report, we have two options. We can either use the layout which is currently assigned to the Project Explorer window, or we can define or choose a predefined layout style. Report styles determine the aesthetic formatting of the report, such as page, cell and border formatting, and the optional inclusion of report or page headers and footers. This template-based approach to generating reports and spreadsheets means that repeating the output process with a different style, layout and file format is simply a case of running the quick report function again with a different combination of layout and report styles. A similar process is used to direct report output to an AutoCAD table in your drawing. In this case, as well as applying a layout style to determine the layout and content of the table, we also need to define or choose a Project Explorer table style to determine the aesthetic formatting of the font, cells and borders of the table. It's then simply a case of selecting the insertion point for the table in your drawing.
These quick report and quick table functions have already demonstrated how efficiently you can manage the production of custom reports, spreadsheets and tables using Project Explorer. However, the product has far more to offer in this area. What draws most people to the product is the Object Sets feature. This unique feature provides you with the security of knowing that an entire set of exported information files can effectively be kept in sync with your design after every design change. To define a new object set, either use the Add to Object Set option for any selected item, or open the Object Sets tab and press the New Object Set button. Once we have set the type of file that we want to generate, we need to set the output file name and output path, and finally we set the layout style and report style to determine the layout and formatting of our report. Once we have defined our object set, there is just one thing left to do. To decide which parts of our design to include in the report, and to set up any content filtering that we might want to include. In this case, we're limiting the inclusion of corridor feature lines to a specific point code. Having set up this object set, we can now enjoy two crucial advantages. Firstly, we can generate this report with a single button press, knowing that the report will always include the specified content and custom formatting every time we hit the Apply button. Secondly, after every design change in our model, we can instantly update our report. But the real power of object sets is realised when you need to extract information to a range of different file formats and styles, with a range of different content and for a range of different purposes. Using object sets in Project Explorer, you can manage the process of generating and updating as many files as you wish with a single button press. Having generated our files, we can now use some of the powerful model editing capabilities in Project Explorer to efficiently manipulate our design. And once we have done that, we can subsequently update all exported reports, spreadsheets and drawings at any time. Object set definitions are stored persistently in your DWG file. This means that any other Project Explorer user with access to this drawing can generate updated versions of the exported reports or spreadsheets at any time. A simple version control system keeps track of every file generated from this drawing, identifying the output path, file version, file name and the name of the user who generated the file. As well as the report production capabilities of Project Explorer, it's worth remembering that the main window itself provides you with a unique live report of your model, and this can be an extremely valuable aid to the design process in Civil 3D. There's no better way to illustrate this than to look at the dynamic reporting tools in the product, which allow you to monitor the relationships between different parts of your model. By switching the main window to a custom layout style, we reveal a range of columns for calculated offsets to other objects in your model. These values can be populated by selecting a compared object from the drop-down list at the top of the window, and in this case we are monitoring the relationship between the selected point group and a compared alignment profile. The relationship between these objects can now be monitored whilst you apply changes to your design, proving that key constraints in your model are being accommodated at all times. To dive more deeply into any of the functionality shown in this video, or to learn more about Project Explorer generally, please visit our YouTube channel or visit the 3AM Solutions website. Thanks for tuning in.